One evening, as Noah was stood on his ark, pouring green oil in starboard side lamp, his wife came along. She said, Noah, something's wrong. Our cabin is getting quite damp. Said Noah, is that so? He went down below and he found it were right what she said. When he looked on the floor, quite a puddle he saw. It were slopping around under a bed. <laughs> said Noah, there's an hole down the bottom somewhere. We should find that before we retire. Then he thought for a bit and he said, aye, that's it. A bloodhound is what we require. So they went and fetched bloodhound. A place where it lay. <laughs> bloodhound, best I could do. <laughs> Between the skunk and the polecat it were. And as things down below was a trifle so-so, it were glad of a breath of fresh air. Well, they followed the hound as it went sniffing round until it located the leak were a round knoll inside like this, about three inches wide, where a swordfish had poked in its beak. By gum out of water streamed in through that hole. Till young Shem, <coughs> Shem, young Shem, who at sums were expert, worked it out on his slate that it came at the rate of per gallon, per second, per squirt. Well, the bloodhound tried hard to keep water in check by lapping it up with his tongue. But as that were no go, he went up to the hole and he shoved in his nose for the bung. Well, that poor faithful hound, he were very near drowned and they dragged him away none too soon. For the water as rose worked his way up his nose and it blew him out like a balloon. <laughs> well, then... Mrs. Noah put her elbow in coal and she said, Hey, it stopped, I believe. <laughs> but they found pretty soon that she altered her tune because the water had gone up her sleeve. But seeing as her elbow wasn't doing much good, she said, Noah, I've an idea. You sit on the leak and by the end of the week, there's no knowing, weather made clear. But Noah didn't think much to this idea at all, but thought he'd best give it a try. So on the old down he plopped, and the leaking all stopped, and all except him were quite dry. They took him his breakfast and dinner and tea, as day after day there he sat, till the rain had all passed, and they landed at last on top side of Mount Ararat. So that's how old Noah got all safe ashore. But ever since then, strange to tell, them as helped save the ark has all carried a mark, aye, and all their descendants as well. And that's why a doll always has a cold nose. A woman, <laughs> a woman has cold elbows. You'll also find, if you inquire, but that's why a man takes his coattails in hand and he stands with his back through the fire. It's true.